All right, we go overseas now to an alarming mid-air scare. A Russian spy plane nearly colliding with a crowded passenger jet. International leaders are outraged, and the number of incidents like this is growing. Russia flexing its muscle and ratcheting up tensions with the West. ABC's Terry Moran has the details from London. The dangerous encounter began in the skies over the Baltic Sea. Scandinavian Airlines Flight 1755, in its climb after takeoff from Copenhagen, heading to Poland Saturday morning. Suddenly, air traffic control warns. Okay, my one seven five five initial stop class level two two zero. It's due to unidentified the traffic in the area. That unidentified traffic, a Russian military plane flying with its transponder switched off, masking its position, making it almost invisible to commercial flights. It's really reckless. It's really irresponsible. The pilots can't see the Russian in the haze. Air traffic control warns it's going to be close. Okay, 1755, you will have the traffic. When turning, he will be pretty much at 12 o'clock, passing uh, right to left. Then the Russian plane veers off as the commercial plane turns too. Okay, it looks like you'll pass by him. Hope so. Sweden's defense minister was furious, declaring, this is serious, this is inappropriate, this is outright dangerous when you turn off the transponder. In recent months, Russian jets have buzzed NATO airspace repeatedly. This close encounter, just 100 feet apart between NATO interceptors and Russian planes, happened just last week. And in October, this grainy photo and advanced sonar data sent the Swedish Navy scrambling to scour the waters off Stockholm searching for a covert Russian sub, but it apparently slipped away. Russian officials deny all of this, including yesterday's incident, but Moscow's real message to Europe and the U.S. is unmistakable and clear. We're back, and we can penetrate your defenses at will.